This episode was proudly made possible by Subaru. Guys, I like to swim in pools occasionally, so can we all just agree to stop peeing in them? Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. Admit it, you've done it before. Most everyone who's been in a pool has peed in a pool at some point. Hell, you may have even been encouraged to pee in a pool, as my friend and coworker Jared informed me used to happen on his swim team. Like what? Coach, that's gross. What is wrong with you? I think that people pee in pools because they think that the chlorine kills the bacteria, which is true, but that's not all that happens when you pee in the pool. According to a new study coming out of Purdue, when uric acid from pee combines with chlorine, it creates a gas called cyanogen chloride. Pee is responsible for somewhere between 24% and 68% of this gas floating around in pools, public and private. Now, cyanogen chloride production matters because it can cause anything from irritation to serious problems with the central nervous system, lungs, and heart when it's inhaled. The gas is already been linked to these health issues in heavy swimmers. There's another gaseous byproduct of peeing in the pool as well, nitrogen trichloramine, which can cause injury to the lungs. The same university found that this gas builds up super quickly, quadrupling over the course of a three to four day swimming competition. To remedy this problem, scientists could add more chlorine to the pool, so yay, your eyes and lungs sting even more. Or, you know, people could stop peeing in pools. It's so funny, the scientists are like, look, we really don't know what to say. This is just, it's gotta stop, okay? Thanks, bye. So is this gonna kill you? Probably not. Could it make you sick? Yes. Will it make you sick? Most likely not. Is it disgusting? Absolutely yes. And a special parting note for all of my germaphobes out there, not too long ago the CDC did a similar study on a couple hundred private and public pools and found that over half of them contained fecal particles as well. They think this is related to the fact that almost half of people don't shower before getting into the pool. Another 11% admitted to swimming with a runny nose and 6% swam with a cold. Fortunately, less than 1% admitted to swimming with diarrhea. So drink up folks, or you could just be like me and never swim in a pool again, cause it's ruined. I, I just can't ever again. Thanks science for that one. And thank you for joining me for D News everyone. And thank you Subaru for making this episode possible. So many thank yous. Check out our friend Patrick Norton as he teams up to customize three high mileage Subaru vehicles for charity. They turned one into an office, another into a mobile camping station. And on the third, they added a custom bike rack for wheelchair adapted bikes. All for charity, folks. You can watch that at revision3.com slash Subaru. We'll see you next time.